Super Smash September! Whoa, what, you just grab them and cling? And what the, I don't even know, dude. <gasps> it's Mario, he came to life. And look at this, it's a Zelda. It's a Zelda, Link, that's his name. They jumped at each other, and where did Pikachu and Kirby come from? I don't know. Hey, look, it's Peach. She's a pretty. Peachy's got it. Um, also, there's a bunch of Marios, and then Bowser roared at us, and Donkey Kong came flying out of the jungle, and I hope Ridley's in this game. I mean, he's right there. Also, there's Link, moving around a little bit, and he's he's really cool. And whoa, hands. Also, Yoshi's. Yoshi's everywhere. <laughs> also, did you know about the Ice Climber video game? Yeah, me neither, but they're in this game. Also, look at them go, dude. Look at these guys. Whoa! Anyway, and then we got a little bit of an eye there, and do you guys know who Sheik is? Because a lot of people think Sheik's a guy. Actually, Sheik is Zelda. Also, Kirby's in space on a warp star, and he's losing the warp star. He's got to learn how to fly this thing. Also, Fox is so cool. Anyway, and we're, Ness comes flying out, and he's cool. And also, um, Pikachu's in this game, and there's a Jigglypuff there too, but... You have to unlock Jigglypuff. Also, Samurai Goro is not in this game because he died. And they fly by and they get struck by lightning. And then there they are again playing music and getting hit by something. And then there they are again and again and again. Get ready because it's going to explode. Yep, that's what we're playing. Hey there, fellow gamers. Kevin J Gaming here giving you some Super Smash September. And this week, we're going to be doing Super Smash Bros. Melee. We're going through the whole series. A couple things we have to mention. First off, if you go into Adventure Mode, you'll notice, because we're going to be doing Adventure Mode, I don't have any of the characters unlocked. Reason being, um, my memory card got wiped a long time ago, and I just never really had the time to um, unlock everyone again. So, we're going to be doing Normal Mode Adventure. Adventure is actually really, really hard on Very Hard. Like, super a little too hard on very hard because they do a lot more two-on-ones and the AI in this game just likes to punish you for everything so it's really tough so yeah we're gonna be playing through normal mode and adventure and adventure mode is really cool because what they did is um, instead of being like classic mode you basically go through the stages and it's really cool I'm gonna be doing all different modes for each generation of the series so just be prepared for that can I hear the gentleman no I don't want to do you have to do that? Okay. There's a way you can do it and not have to do the punch afterward. Whatever. I'm invisible now, so this is this is great to watch because you can't really tell where I am. Anyway, but we're gonna wait until I become invisible again. Oh come on. Yeah, very hard mode. Like a Koopa does like 40 damage to you or so, like a little too much, in my opinion. Um. Oh, and I killed myself. <laughs> Uh, okay, but um, anyway, to talk about melee things, I don't know why I can't do what's called the gentleman. It's when you just do the, you do like just the three hits and you don't do the punch at the end. But apparently, I have to do the punch. Anyway, but yeah, um, to talk about the way melee's been for me. Melee was never a huge part of my life. It was for the. Why do I keep getting invisible? Man, the items in this game are really bad, by the way. Um, um, I can't even see myself, which really sucks. Um, Melee was never a big part of my life. Um, I want to say I would have played it a lot more. It was because Melee came out, I think it was a launch title or close to a launch title on, on uh, the GameCube. And the thing for me was, I didn't have a GameCube until a little bit later in the life cycle. So, in light of that, um, so in light of that, I didn't actually play it that much. I played it at my friend's house a couple of times, but um, I didn't play it as much as I've played it with other games. Anyway. So because we finished that stage with exactly two seconds left on the clock, we're going to see this little animation here where, whoop, Luigi has taken the spotlight from Mario. It's the year of Luigi. Actually, it's not. But anyway, uh, doing that makes us face Luigi here as opposed to Mario and Peach. It's an interesting little thing they did. 
So when you face multiple people in this game, they really like to punish you for it, and that's literally the reason why I'm playing on on normal. I tried a few times to do it on. I tried a few times to do it on very hard, and it just it wasn't going. And I would rather just get the video out and have decent commentary than me, you know, complaining about everything that's happening. Because, like, they're still juggling me like crazy because they're friggin' two of them and one of me, so... Oh, wow, I thought you would hit the box that was right in front of you, but okay. Really? I don't... How did I not hit you? I don't even understand that. What? What was that noise as well? Oh, what?! I just ran off the stage. Okay, okay. I lost track of myself with the camera moving around. Okay, Peach, you're done. No, you're not done. They also don't let you use the C-Stick in this game. Um, oh my god, why do you have to be invisible now? Oh, that would have been really cool if I got him with that. Where is Peach? I don't know where Peach is. Oh, she made her way over here because she's been invisible the whole time. Ah, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Done? You're done. Done. Okay. Ah, oh, man. It's very hard to talk over this game because there's so many more things to be doing in this game as opposed to uh, 64, which is a lot slower. Anyway. Um, so, in light of that, I didn't play a lot of Melee growing up. Um, I do remember, like, a couple of friends' birthday parties where we did, um, where we would do two, where we would play, like, Melee as, like, the fun thing to do. I'm just gonna stand here, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep doing it. Oh, well, well, not when you do that, you're dead anyway. But yeah, it, it, it was, like, I have memories of it, my friends, um, oh, really? I remember having one friend who would beat me all the time, really, and then they hit me. I'm gonna remember to L cancel, that's what I gotta do. Is that gonna suck you off the stage? No, no. Yeah, I don't want to do that punch, but it keeps making me do it. Oh, there we go, I did it. The timing on that's really weird. Okay. And yeah, so in light of that, I didn't play a lot of Melee, but I did have memories of it, and as time has gone on, I've played it a lot more. Um, because I've wanted to try to get into it, because after playing Brawl, I got really sick of what happens in competitive brawl, i.e. Meta Knight everywhere. Oh, oh. A lot of people don't like that you have to wave dash to do well in this game competitively, but I mean, done. Double up tilt to kill Donkey Kong. But um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a lot of, I say but um a lot, you get used to it when I'm talking about a game. Like when I'm talking over a competitive game. Or, sorry, a fast paced game. I can't think most of the time. Oh, Octa Rock. Why? Oh, wow, I did it already. So basically, you're supposed to run to these rooms and you're trying to find the Triforce. If you find a Master Sword, you face Link, but I didn't find a Master Sword. I just ran to the Triforce immediately. So, hooray! Um. Anyway. I'll say anyways a lot. Get, get, stop! Stop, how did you grab me? Okay. I want a gentleman. I want a gentleman. Get out. I didn't even know I'll cancel that neutral air. I didn't mean to land on that platform. I did it again. I don't want to do it. I don't like that I can't use the C-Stick, because it, 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 it affects the way I press the buttons. Because now I have to hold like forward and press A as opposed to using the C-Stick, where I can be like holding back on the way I'm jumping or something. I don't know, it's... Oh, 
Oh, she dodged it. That was good. Oh, the bag bicycle kick. Oh! <laughs> That's always fun. Landing that knee. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I play Captain Falcon because he's fun in Melee. I want to try to pick different characters. I used to play Falco, Marth, and um, Fox. But obviously, Fox, um, I did in 64, so I want to play different characters. And, um... Wow. And um, I don't. I have to unlock Falco and Marth, so I figured I would just play. I'll just play Falcon because he is fun. Oh, I almost got that. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I got it there. You just gotta get the timing on it. Get out. Trying to get him into that flipper. Into the flipper! Oh, what? Wow, okay. Because I side bead back onto the stage. Get out, okay. Because I side bead to get back on the stage, I hit the thing, and it made me just go straight down. So beware of that. That Falcon's side bead does not grab the ledge. Also, warning, because the whole place is exploding. We gotta get out of here. But we're Cap Falcon. This is really easy for us. He runs really fast. I like the reference to the, like, Metroid in here. Because, like, this happens in Metroid where the thing's exploding, you gotta get out in a certain amount of time. You have to use everything you have and then not... There we go. I made that with so much time left. I could have grabbed that trophy over there, but that's fine. Half minute, man. Whoa, I did it in less than 30 seconds. And then the whole thing explodes. And we came over to Popstar. The green greens. So first we're going to fight just Kirby. Just Kirby. Oh, well, you're gonna eat me fine. You're gonna use Falcon Punch? Use it. I dare you. Oh! Oh! I beat, the, I beat him in 12 seconds. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> and they figured, what else can we do for Kirby? Oh, you can face them again, I guess. So that's what we do. We're gonna face them again. No, 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 done. Oh, I wanted to get him with that. No, no, leave me alone. You really try to use the Falcon Punch. Uh, stop. I wasn't even talking for, like, that whole fight. Because it's hard to talk. Um. Oh, I actually got him with that. <laughs> it was like, whoa! I went for the Falcon Punch just because. And I did it. Um, what else do we got? What else can I say about melee? I mean, I, I do like the competitive aspect of it. I like using wave dashes. It makes me feel like I'm good at the game. Like... Is this really how you're going to play? You're done. You land down. That red shell is... <laughs> 
I knew it was going to be an exploding one, too. Why did he just stand there and take that? Did I get the reverse? I got the reverse backhand. Jesus. Took him out easy. Um. Yeah. I mean, I like the competitive aspect of Melee. It is so exciting. If you saw my Beyond Polygons video, by the way, because I've uploaded it now, um, talking about Smash on a basic level. Stay clear. Oh. Get ready, everybody. I'm right behind you guys. Because of that, I, um, in, in the video, um, I showed some footage from, uh, I believe it's called The Next Level, or The Next Event, or something. And basically, it's, um, I believe it's Lord versus S2J, and they did Falcon versus Falcon, and it's like the hypest thing I've ever seen. And it was so hype. I, I love that video so much. I love watching that. If you haven't seen the video, do check it out. Um... You'll see it in the Let's Play, or you sorry, you'll see it in the Beyond Polygons video, and you'll see how hype it gets. Um, and because of that, I think Melee is a great game competitively. It's so much fun to watch, and there's so many things to to pay attention to. And competitively, like there's so many more things you have to do to do well. And some people don't like that, I, and I can understand that. Oh, of course, the first Pokeball I get is Goldeen. I can grab it. And I killed myself. <laughs> I grabbed the electrode and I didn't throw it. It's fine. <laughs>